Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. In my previous uh, post, Twitter Thursday Throwdown, I discussed uh, having a goal board in order to uh, specify some of my goals. It was inspired by uh, what Steve Pavlina did and is currently doing, to my knowledge. Um, I first learned about it in a, a video from uh, some kind of raw food podcast thingy. I'll put the link up on the side so you guys can see it. He actually did two videos, but the goal board is in the uh, first one, I believe. I'll let you guys uh, see the new goal board. Check it out. Um, so you can't really make out all of it, but over there it says, uh, I deliver $1,337 worth of value to others and am rewarded accordingly. And it has a picture of money right there. And this one says, I'm grateful for owning a PV Viper 75. Um, this one says, I'm in a relationship with a beautiful woman. This one is what I'm working on currently, if you've been following me on Twitter. I am the proud owner of a Paul Reed Smith SE Custom 24 in whale blue. And of course, I probably don't really need to say that one, but I will anyway. I weigh 180 pounds. That one's kind of on the back burner for now, but this one is what I'm mostly working on. The one below the, uh... I'm the proud owner for Paul Reed Smith SC Custom 24 in Whale Blue. Basically outlines that I'm the front man for my band Chrome Sparks. And it lists uh, a couple of potential people to fill in for uh, lead guitar, bass, and uh, drums. Since they haven't really confirmed their involvement, I don't really want to name names or anything. <laughs> Basically what the goal board is, I modeled it roughly after Steve Pavlina, like I said. It's a 3x4 uh, uh, like grid of uh, six of my current goals. One, you know, being losing weight, getting into a relationship, making more money, owning some, you know, essential things, and uh, creating a new band. So far it's going pretty well for me. I mean, I've already amassed uh, almost $60.00 towards my uh, PRS. And yeah, I know, PRSs are pretty darn expensive, but uh, I feel I'll get there. It just, it's gonna take a while. And I wanna save up for the, the uh, guitar first because once I get that, saving up for the amp will be easy. And plus, you know, maybe by that time I'll find something, you know, cheap on eBay, which is, I'm still, you know, scouting out eBay to see if I can get like a killer deal on the amp and the guitar too. But so far, I haven't really had too much luck. Um, I'm also looking into uh, maybe purchasing like the Dean from Hell if I manage to get the you know the money in time. But that probably won't be until I get at least I'd say a good four hundred dollars before I can you know seriously purchase something like the Dean from Hell. I don't know. I'm I am kind of debating between that and the uh, the PRS, but I'm leaning more towards the PRS just just because you know it's it's a lot more versatile than the Dean from Hell. I mean I love the Dean from Hell. It's it's a great guitar, and it's received overwhelmingly positive reviews, but it's just, right now I'm looking for something versatile, something that can cover all the bases, and then once I get the PRS, getting other things like the Dean from Hell and maybe a Dean Razorback and a couple other things I want to get, like uh, the Jackson Kelly and possibly a, uh, a Carvin uh, V220, which uh, both of those were guitars that uh, Marty Friedman used in his uh, career, both in uh, Cacophony and in uh, Megadeth. Now, I was trying to get Marty's uh, signature Ibanez off of like eBay and uh, foreign shops and stuff, but that thing is rare as fuck, man. I can't find it worth a shit. I mean, I used to, every once in a while I'd come across stuff like that, but Honestly, I'd have a lot more better luck finding his uh, signature Jackson Kelly than finding his signature Ibanez. I think it's mostly because uh, it was released to a very limited market in Japan only. It's not like, you know, he had a small release or anything here in America. It was just in Japan only and it was, you know, for just... I'd say probably a good two, maybe three years. You know, in comparison to his Jackson, which has been around for probably five, six, you know, maybe eight years. I see him every once in a while on eBay. I think there's one up there for about 1300 if I recall. And uh, I wouldn't mind getting one. <laughs> That'd be nice. But, I don't know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I want something a little bit more, you know, my own. You know, Marty's my favorite guitar player, but I don't want to be like a Marty clone. <laughs> so, I mean, I want to kind of take what he did with guitar and kind of put my own spin on things. Then I found uh, something really interesting called uh, the Jackson Star, or more specifically the Jackson Kelly Star. 
which uh, is, as it says, a uh, star-shaped guitar body. Um, basically, uh, if you guys know what the shape of the uh, DNML is, where it's like a standard Explorer meets a uh, standard Flying V, this is the uh, Jackson equivalent, where it's the Jackson Kelly, which is their version of the Explorer, and the uh, Randy Rhodes asymmetrical V. Not the King V, but the asymmetrical V, which I think is pretty cool. It only had a very short run, and it basically uh, they stopped it when uh, Jackson was acquired by Fender. And uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> Honestly, I like that better than the Warrior, which I don't really get the Warrior. It's eh, meh. I prefer the uh, the Kelly Star just because it it's so unique and it's kind of it reminds me a lot of the DNML which I love. But enough waxing about future guitars that alone. Um, let's get back to the subject at hand. As I said earlier, I've I, I have started up a uh, new MySpace. This is lucky number five, five. And uh, basically, I'm calling this uh, Chrome Sparks. It was originally going to be called Chrome Spark, but uh, somebody already took the name. So I decided just to tack an S on the end, and voila, Chrome Sparks. Also, I'm going to be getting a, uh, a new wall scroll very soon. It should be with here uh, by next week. And uh, since my last apartment tour, I've added just a couple things. I'll give you a, a quick little run through. Uh, check this out. I no longer have a box of food. I have a proper shelving unit where I keep my food and stuff like that food and bowls in the bottom three drawers. I got like mail and the uh, third from the bottom drawer is where I keep like my sleeping mask and my uh, earplugs. Um, I'm experimenting with certain like sleeping things, see if that works, and uh, keep uh, other assorted things like napkins and stuff in there. And uh, it cost me about maybe 30, 35 bucks, I don't really remember, but it was totally worth it. I mean, my box of food was only so big. And uh, also, I finally managed to put up my uh, long uh, stored wall scroll of uh, Ray Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion, or Ava, as I call it. I had this up back in uh, good old days at UU, but I took it down since I left, just because I really haven't had the wall space for it. I briefly put it up when I was over at my aunt's and cousin's, but, you know, I was only there for, like, six months, and it was up for probably three. Then I lived with my parents for uh, about a year and a half after that, and I didn't really have much storage space for anything. I mean, I, I slept on a couch, for Christ's sake, so... It wasn't until, like, maybe the last month or so that I started sleeping down in the basement, but, uh... Yeah, I'm out of my own... And, you know, I, I love it. So this is the Andy San coming from my room in BG on my nice fuzzy pillow. I got this several, several years ago. Um, I think from, like, Sam's Club or something. It is the fuzziest pillow ever and is the best thing to lay on when I'm watching anime. So uh, this is Andy San signing off. You guys have an excellent night. Later.